No, you didn't. That's crazy. Let's go. That's awesome. Hey, Elena. I think, uh, hey. Sorry to bother you while you're practicing, but do you have time to answer 47 questions? Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations on your new position as interim head coach of the Pomona Pitzer women's basketball team. How does it feel? Thank you. Um, it feels awesome. Uh, we have a really awesome group returning, and I'm just really excited for the year. As a former basketball player yourself, did you think you'd be back coaching here so soon? <laughs> no. What's the best advice a coach has ever given you? Mm, make the easy pass. What's the best advice one of your players has given you? Hmm. Uh, don't wear the opposing team's color on game day. <laughs> Who is one of your coaching role models? Uh, uh, honestly, probably all the coaches I've played for or coached with. Um, they're definitely all role models. Also, I'm from the Bay Area, so I grew up watching Stanford women's basketball and Tara Vanderveer. As a head coach, what does your day-to-day -day schedule look like? It's different every day, which is honestly one of my favorite parts about the job. You scored over a thousand career points during your time as a student athlete at Pomona. Do you think you still have it? Uh, uh, we'll see. Camille. Still got it. <laughs> so I heard you spoke at NCAA convention in 2018. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about what you spoke? Um, so at the time, um, I was a student athlete um, and I was chairing the student athlete engagement committee. Uh, it was a committee designed to engage student athletes in kind of the policy making process. So mostly focused on social issues, um, sexual violence prevention, um, kind of, I guess, issues that are more important outside of athletics, um, but still really relevant to student athletes' experiences. Why is that subject important to you? I think that athletics has a lot of room to grow. I think, like most things, if you become complacent um, and satisfied with where you are, um, that's never a good mentality. Um, so in all those arenas, I think um, athletics has the opportunity to kind of be a pioneer, I guess. And I felt like as a student athlete, um, it was a really cool opportunity to be involved in that process. Um, so, I, so I joined it and um, it was great. In your coaching experience, what's the coolest place you've been to for a recruiting trip? Uh, I just got back from Chicago, which is really awesome. Um, and I'm going to DC this weekend, which I'm really excited about. I spent two summers there as an undergrad at Pomona and I'm really excited to be back. What excites you about this new position? Everything. Um, our team, our group of uh, student athletes is really, really awesome. So I'm really excited to just be with them and be back um, in September when they're on campus again. What scares you? Uh, I would say, Less scary, less scary and more just knowing there's going to be things that come up that um, I can't prepare for and being ready for those things. Um, I think I'm actually just really excited to meet all those sorts of new challenges. Do you have any superstitions? Mm, not really. Uh, <laughs> when I was a player here, I had this pair of green socks that I would wear basically for almost every game. Um, I got them in middle school and wore them kind of throughout high school and college for, for big games. What's one thing about you that you think people would be surprised to learn? Mm, I have a twin brother. What's one skill you wish you had, but don't? Oh, I wish I could whistle without a whistle. Can't do that. What's one thing you can't live without? Uh, snacks. What's your dream vacation destination? Uh, Hawaii, probably. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm, either my dad's cooking or some crust. What's the best book you've read recently? Um, I just recently read Celeste Ng's book, Little Fires Everywhere, which I really liked. Um, I'm actually like 10 pages in right now to John Wooden's book on leadership, which I'm pretty excited about. What's the last TV show you binge watched? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> What's your go-to pregame pump-up song? Mm, I would say I don't necessarily have one song, um, but I, I think people would be surprised to know that I listen to slower music versus super fast uh, pump up music before games. If you could choose one rule to change in basketball, what would it be? <laughs> uh, probably using your feet more. I think that would be kind of a, a fun twist to basketball. Staying hydrated during the game is vital. Gatorade or Powerade? Water. <laughs> What's your go-to halftime snack? 
Oh, our go-to halftime snack, uh, which is shared throughout our whole team, is we have these uh, fruit chews that we eat, um, coaches and players, uh, a little bit of a halftime sugar boost. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Probably teleportation, being able to just hop from one place to the next. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I drove across the country after I graduated college with two of my friends from high school. Thank you, Mo. So when did you start playing basketball? When I was like five probably, with my twin brother in the driveway. And was she like better, coaching or playing? Playing when I was a player, coaching now that I'm a coach. What are your goals for the team this year? Probably just to get better every day. And what's your favorite drill to do in practice? Mm, I love shell drill as a coach. Uh, as a player, uh, any shooting drill, love those. Uh, you should get you should get back to work. <laughs> if you could coach a sport other than basketball, what would it be? Mm, probably softball. I played softball in high school. How do you stay calm during a close game? Uh, adrenaline, just your adrenaline's pumping. There's no time to, to panic. Lakers or Clippers? Uh, for LA, probably just the Sparks. Uh, if we're talking NBA, definitely a Warriors fan. Who's your favorite player of all time? Mm. Uh, I'm partial to point guards, so probably Sue Bird, Steve Nash. Uh, I really enjoyed, I remember when I was in like middle school or high school, Courtney Vandersloot was a point guard for Gonzaga. She was great. Um, and then when I was in college, I probably liked watching Jordan Canada play the most. She played at UCLA. What's your favorite memory of your playing career here? Uh, <laughs> probably just hanging out in the training room with my teammates. Um, we also had a really awesome win um, my senior year, which was, which was great. What's your favorite memory of going to school at Pomona? People, professors, um, it's just, it's an awesome place to be. What was the hardest thing about being a student athlete? Probably just, just balancing everything, taking care of my body, making sure I was always sleeping and eating enough. Um, you forget to do those things in college sometimes. What did you study here? I studied public policy analysis. What's your favorite spot on campus? Uh, our locker room or probably the Carnegie Politics Library. What's better, a good offense or a good defense? Good defense. You're down by one with 10 <laughs> seconds left. Would you rather be drawing up the play or have the ball in your hands? Mm, probably drawing up the play now that I'm a coach. What will be the opening line to your championship game pregame speech? Uh, I'll come up with that uh, when the occasion occurs. What's one thing you wish you knew in high school? Uh, procrastinate less. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in the off season? Uh, probably just be outside more. Uh, I like to run and hike and do all that stuff. What's one piece of advice that you've given to someone who wants to start coaching? Start coaching. What's one thing do you, that you want to be remembered for? Being a part of people's lives who are also being remembered for really awesome things. And what's the best thing about working at Pomona? The people. Best part about going here too. That was 47 questions. We'll let you get back to practice. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck with the season. Yeah, thank you.